Hello, 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 everybody. Yes, and welcome in. My name is Dion Parker, and I'm the Courage Catalyst. I'm also the author of the book, Girl, Get Your Swag Back, the founder of the Swag University. And this month, if you haven't been following us, we are celebrating the entire month of July. This is International Girl, Get Your Swag Back Month. Yes, International Girl, Get Your Swag Back Month. If you don't know what swag is, let me break it down for you. So swag stands for self-confidence, walk with God, attitude of gratitude, and God-given gifts and talents. And we have declared, of course, once again, July as the month where women around the world are making a bold declaration to say, girl, I'm getting my swag back. Yes. And I hope that's you. If you're watching this, I hope you'll join us in all the activities that we're doing. If you missed anything, please go onto our page. You'll be able to see that on Facebook and scroll through all the posts. If you missed anything, you can also go to DionParker.com and you'll be able to see everything that we've done for the entire month of July. All right? So I am so excited. I have one of my purpose partners on here. Yes, if you could see her beautiful face, she's decided to join me. She, <laughs> she just... She just came back for such, from such an incredible experience that I could see it all over her face. I had an opportunity, myself and my, my other beautiful purpose partner, Dr. Nicole Still, had an opportunity to spend time with this beautiful woman, Prophetess Terry Hani. She is an amazing, gifted woman, and I tell you, you'll be blessed. We have had the opportunity to connect with her, her family, her ministry, all of that, um, and just to be able to hear and pour out and fellowship, all of that. I'm not going to steal any more thunder, but what I will share with you is that we can't say international girl, get your swag back month without bringing my international sister from another mister over, right? Got to do that. So <laughs> we need to make sure that we are there. And Prophetess Terry Honey is joining us from Cape Town, South Africa. And so I asked her, to be my expert for Wisdom Wednesday around this section that we're talking about, God-given gifts and talents. And that area, that's the G in swag. And so we wanted to find out from her expertise and her knowledge, what is it that you know, we need to do as women to tap into our God-given gifts and talents? What if I don't know what those are? And maybe what if just, just maybe I've tapped into it. Maybe I got into a dry spell. I'm no longer kind of walking through those gifts and talents. They, I just put them on the shelf and I maybe walked away. I don't know what to do on that instance. So I'm asking my gifted sister here to help us out there. And so Terry, hello, beautiful. Hello. I'd love to, <laughs> I'd love to invite you into the conversation. Thank you for letting me bombard you. I wish I could say I was on location with her today, but I'm not. <laughs> she is there in South Africa. And so I would love to turn it over to you for you to be able to walk us through um, what your thoughts are, how you'd help us and the expertise. Awesome. Dion, thank you so much for this opportunity. And I just want to say hello to everyone from this beautiful, one of the most, in fact, it's the most beautiful city in the world. You have got to come and see it for yourself like Dion and Nicole did. So it's a bit cold here. We still have a bit of rain today, but it's beautiful, fresh and crisp. The beautiful mother city in South Africa. So I'm speaking to you. I'm Terry Honey. I'm the president for Women of Substance SA. And yes, we do things because faith is a substance of things hoped for for the evidence of things not seen. So I want to encourage you today that as um, Diana said, you know, we all have gifts and talents. And the one thing that I, I actually realize is that we've all been born with innate gifts. God has birthed us and sent us to this earth with so many gifts and talents. And I always tell the ladies that I meet with, I say, you know what? If you want to know what gifts you really have and the talents you really have, think about what you enjoyed doing when you were young, when you were a little girl. What did you spend your time with? What gave you joy? 
you know, so you may want to just go back to that space in your life and think about what I did as a child, what I enjoyed most and what, what really makes me happy. What is my happy place? And we have so many talents and many people don't tap into it. Some of them think they are not able to do it because they have limited thinking. And I want to tell you today, step out of that limited belief systems. You know, we are so caught up and put ourselves in a box because we think someone else is doing it better and we're not going to make it. You know, I can't do it like that one, but Hey, we're not all the same. You know, we have all been given the same gift, but we use it differently. So you wait for the opportunity to use what God has given you and you'll flourish everywhere you come. You'll flourish in what you have. You know, God's given it to you to make an impact to where you are. So whatever you find yourself, where you find yourself, you just got to let it flow. So there are so many gifts. Each day I can wake up and say, oh my gosh, I didn't know I had this gift and talent to do that, but I did it anyway without having to wait for someone. Imagine someone's going to deliver a baby and there is no midwife around. Hello, and it's only you. Can you imagine what talent will be coming out of you, girl? <laughs> That's just an example. I know it's a bit overboard, but we've got to be radical. God is unlimited. You know, he's given us the ability. He's given us the wisdom. We just got to listen and he'll guide us. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. That is such an incredible example. So I had this example in my head all of a sudden. I thought, Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right. Of what we discover in the times when we think that we can't do something or when it's missing. And then when you wake up and God has said, you know what, I called you to this. So I'm going to give you this gift in this season to accomplish what I've asked you to accomplish. It's amazing to me. Perfect. And I, I think, you know, you touched on something so important when you talked about, you know, comparing gifts, right? I think mm -hmm. about, I think about, I, I wrote in a uh, girl, get your swag back. I wrote, about my sister and her feet. And she always, she'll probably get on me because I'm talking about it again. But her and I, but this is my, my youngest sister, we're often mistaken for twins. I don't know how, but people always say we look so much alike, but she towers over me. She's t much okay. taller than I am. You've seen me, Terry. I'm not that big, yeah. as you, but <laughs> I am big in heart. <laughs> but we don't have the same size shoe. And so yeah. if she tries on my shoe, you know, it's painful for her. And she may look a little crazy trying to walk in my shoes. And when I try to put on her shoes, I could fall and hurt myself because they don't fit me. And so when I'm looking at someone else's gifting, I can admire it, but I don't have the same, uh, we don't have to have the same gifts. We don't have to compete in that area, right? The gift right. giver gave us gifts and right. he requires me to do what he required me to do with my gift. And you to redo what he required you to do with your gift. And so I thank you for reminding us of that. That's super important, for, especially when we're, we're trying to um, think about what those gifts are. And something that I didn't think about that you said, Terry, was how, you know, thinking about where our gifts come from and, to, and if we're looking for them. Be reminded of when you were a child, a little girl, what you were passionate about and what that looked like. Go back there because that's, those are trails and secrets to our gifting. And, and those are things that you'll find that you're still passionate about where it lays. That is so true, you know, because I think about this all the time. You know, I always think about when I was five years old. And I want to share just a little bit part of my testimony, if you don't, if you'll allow me to. Mm -hmm. You know, I was abused, molested as a little girl at five years old. And I realized that that is such a delicate age for a young person to have experienced that or to be exposed to the perils of childhood sexual awakening. But the enemy tried to steal a gift from me at that age because that was when my genius was taken away, I believe. And many of us have been de-geniusized at the age of five years old. And that is when we have this creativity. We do things that we love because we are so innocent. We are, and we're flowing with the Holy Spirit and the angels were guiding us and all of that. And then the world system comes and tells you, oh, you've got to do things this way. And you've got to do it that way. And I know not everybody is in this flow, but we need to go back to that space where we are flowing into a God is putting us and he's saying, I want you to bring that out. And you just got to be awesome and dynamic in that. And I can tell you now, ladies, if you take that bold step today 
and say, I can do this. And I am going to not let anybody stand in my way. God's got my back. With him on my side, we can do anything because that is what confidence is all about. We've got to know who we are in Christ and know that the power of the Holy Spirit is within us because he says, I've given you power to, to, to obtain wealth. And he says that he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine. We've got to do it because he said all. And he says that in his word, he says, you can do it. So when he says you can do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or imagine in Ephesians 3.20, imagine the things that you can do with the power of God working in and through you. Imagine that. I mean, imagine, you can imagine just anything. I mean, I can say today, I'm going to go and fly an aircraft. I can just imagine myself in this aircraft looking over the beautiful cities and hills and the valleys and the mountains. I can imagine it. And when I can imagine it and picture myself in it, I can do it. So when you imagine yourself that you can write an exam or you can go and get your degree or you can go and write your own goal, get your swag back, whatever it is God has put in your heart, just Take the leap of faith. Take a step of faith. Be daring. Be audacious. Be radical and just say, I'm going to do it and nothing is going to stand in my way. Be a person of tenacity and go for your dreams and your goals. Goals, you've got this. God's got you. Don't let the enemy stop you. Don't let the lies, the things of the past is in the past. Let it just stay there and cut it off. Don't look back. You've got to look forward, press on to the mark of the high calling because greater things are yet to come. Your new season, your new era is waiting on you to make the move. Get your sweat. Oh, oh. I almost ran around this room. I yeah. almost ran around this room. Thank you for encouraging us. I mean, ladies, if you didn't get it, I, you need to rewind and listen to this, put it on loop, whatever that means for you. That was golden nuggets. And for, well, coming from Cape Town, those were diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> that, she just, that providence theory just dropped on us. I am so grateful to be connected to a woman of God and who is walking in her purpose and passion and can encourage us in that way. Thank you so much for jumping on here and giving us um, your wisdom and, and pushing us because that's what it's about is a woman to be able to live in her purpose but to push another one into theirs and so I truly appreciate that ladies if you didn't hear that again I encourage you to go back I encourage you to share this we just had an incredible time with prophetess Terry from woman of substance I am so excited for you this is a wonderful week to tap into those gifts and talents. It's a wonderful week to take some things off the, ta the table. It's a wonderful week to tap into your courage muscles, get into your courage zone, and to take a step beyond where you're at right now. We love you to life. This has been Wisdom Wednesday, and this is International Girl Get Your Swag Back Month. If you missed anything, go check it out. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Whoa.